All right, friends, we are going to start drawing our plants with their roots. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a line for the ground, where the ground and the sky meet. So it's going to go right through the middle of our paper with that brown crayon. I'm going to press nice and hard, just like that. And then down here is going to be dirt. So I'm going to take my crayon, and I'm going to lay it on its side. And I'm going to fill in the dirt just like this. And I know you guys were talking about dirt in class. We're going to talk about some of the things that grow in dirt. So now I've got dirt. And then up above, this is where the dirt ends and this is where the sky begins. So I'm going to draw some grass. Draw some grass. I'm pressing kind of hard getting that grass in there. And so I have my grass. And then you can add in some flowers. Some flowers to this to the picture. So to add a flower, I'm going to take and draw a nice big stem. And I want some leaves on my stem, so I'm going to add a leaf on there and a leaf on this side and color those leaves in. And then you can add a top on your flower. You can look at the flowers we have in class to draw yours. I see that the flower we have in class has yellow in the middle, so I'm going to draw a yellow circle. And it has reddish orange petals. So I'm going to use this reddish orange color to make petals. And they're just long, skinny ovals. I'm going to draw my petals. On my flower. And you can choose if you want a different kind of flower, you can make your flower different. Or you can look at the one in class and make it look like the one we have in class. Just take your time and draw those petals on there. Then, my friends, we talked about the things that go down into the dirt in our class. So we are going to draw those roots on our plants. So first I'm going to draw the flower roots. I'm going to draw those. They're going to come down lots. Just like the roots we saw in class. They're down there looking for water and nutrients and food to help the plant grow. I'm going to do little roots coming off of the roots too because we saw that there were lots and lots of them, right? And they came off in all different directions. They go all over the place. Little ones and long ones. They're all going to be down in the dirt. Down in the dirt. There we go. And then the grass has roots too, but their roots are short. So I'm going to draw little short roots for the grass. There's lots of them though because they go all over where the grass is. So I'm going to draw short roots for the grass. Just short little roots for the grass. Going down like this. Short roots. Some of them can be a little long, but most of them are going to be pretty short. Short roots for the grass. And then, my friends, after you have that done, you can choose if you want to add more plants or if you want to color in the sky. You can color the sky in blue or you could draw some clouds in the sky behind, behind your flowers or you could draw a sun in the sky. Remember, we don't do corner suns. We do circles for our sun. So you could draw a sun way back in the back and color that in. You get to choose, my friends, so you can choose how you finish your artwork after you draw those roots down in the dirt.